Welcome to the Free C Canister Filter Update video. Man, when I did this filter review, you guys had an amazing response to it. Two of you actually bought the filter off of my Amazon affiliate link, so I do appreciate that. Thank you for that. But I've had some time to play with the filter, and I'm still happy with it. It's a great filter, so let's start off with that, right? I'm happy with it, but I keep kind of thinking that we can make the filter better. So I actually recorded a two week update video, but I found some more things that I wanna to do to the filter. I'm gonna do that today in this video. So I figured I would just combine those two together and just do a full review on the thing. So some things you're gonna see in this video. First off, the flow can be obstructed by the sponge that they put on the top. And I'm gonna show you that in this video. Second, when I set it up, I wanted the cord coming off the back. It's weird, you'll see. Uh, but that makes the flow, the outflow, run into the inflow. So I turn the filter around and it's working better that way. And then finally, once I kind of show you that stuff that was in the old two week video, then we're gonna move into kind of pimping the filter out here and I'm gonna take the baskets out and just kind of rearrange things and see if we can get this thing to get even more filtration for the low, low price of $34 or $32. I think it's $32.99 on Amazon, so not too shabby. Anyway, let's get into the video here and I'll show you some of the things I'm talking about. All right, so let's start with setup here. Originally, I had the inflow over here and the spray bar was over here. And so the outflow was blowing into the inflow and into the skimmer there. And it just really wasn't that efficient in my mind. So I'll show you a photo here of how this was set up initially. The reason I had that set up initially is because look where the power cord is, right? That's the back of the filter. So they have the inflow outflow set up that way. I just turned it around the whole filter, just turned the thing around and yeah, the plug is, or the cord is, you know, coming out the front, but whatever. I think it works better this way. So now let's get the filter off the tank here. I'm going to take it apart and show you the blockage issue that I was talking about and what I initially did from two weeks ago till now to make the flow even better. And then we're gonna kind of mod this thing out a little bit. Now, I may be the only idiot that did not know this, but I have a glass shelf right above this filter. And I always had to take the glass shelf off in order to get the filter out from the tank here. And then I tried something. I just tried taking the inflow outflow pipes off before removing the filter. And wouldn't you know it that removing the inflow outflow pipes means I don't have to lift the filter all the way up to clear, you know, to clear the shelf here. I can just pick it up off its bracket and slide it out. Like so. Now, I will say there is one thing that I hate about this filter. And that is that the lid fits too dang tight because I can never, look, I can never get it off. Once it's sucked on there, I cannot get it off. And I've put silicone grease and everything around there. I can't get it off. I always have to use a little pry tool like this and just kind of work it around to get this dang lid off. So that is, I don't know, can be a good feature. It doesn't leak, but man, is it a pain to get that lid off. Okay, but moving on here, when I take this lid off, you will see the inflow side over here. Now you'll see this basket is floating, but when the pump is on, this basket sucks itself back down. So that does tell me that the flow is going down and then under the way it's supposed to. I don't know if any leaks over the top here. That's part of this mod we're gonna try and figure out here. But normally you have this sponge in there. And I had it set up this way if you watch the original video. But the issue is this. You see where the filter inlet is right here? This thing fits on there so tight that 
all the water coming in only hits one little tiny spot right here and all of the grime and detritus and stuff builds up just right here and it blocked the flow after like you know a week and a half kind of deal what i did was i took this sponge out and that allowed the water to just kind of swirl around in here and the gunk and stuff and it did pass more through the filter but i'm still not satisfied so the baskets i think are causing a little bit of a flow issue on this side i think we can just stuff this full of you know media and sponges and filter floss and stuff like that and make it a little bit better so i'm gonna drain this out and get the basket out here well let me see if i can get it out i'll show you kind of that it is working better when i pulled this out two weeks ago with this sponge in that place the only dirt was on that little spot on the sponge there was absolutely zero dirt in the the sponges or the baskets here and that's what made me decide to take that sponge out now you can see that we actually have stuff in this sponge another thing i hate you can't get this basket off <laughs> ah i just found a trick okay i always struggled to get the cap off and i was putting a pry tool like in here to pop the little little latch there but all right we figured it out just squeeze it and it'll pop off all right but now we actually have some stuff in our sponges and that makes me happy that we've got stuff being filtered now this isn't really a clean out video but we're going to be cleaning it since we're modding it i'm going to do away with this basket i think just a hundred percent maybe you can kind of see the dirty water that we got going on in here that is good here's one of our filter flosses you can see it's doing its job this is about two weeks later so i cleaned it out and this is another two week result and in case you're wondering this is on a 10 gallon tank there's our purigen i guess i could probably dump the water out now huh <laughs> All right, and then more filter floss here. So it's doing its job. It is filtering, but we're gonna make it filter better. Now on the exhaust side, exhaust, that's not right, that's cars. What is it? Outflow, outflow side. Um, we're gonna pretty much leave this alone. This is just a, a secondary little catch filter right here. Um, I do want water to be flowing freely through this side here, so I don't want to put filter floss or anything over here uh, that would impede this pickup. So we're going to leave that the way that it is. And, you know, if something gets by the filter, which I don't think after we mod this it's going to, uh, we've got a secondary little catch filter. Our bio media is in there. And let me show you something. Can you see kind of how clean the bio media is? That proves to me that we are filtering through the intake side. So I'm, I'm happy with the filter, man. I'm, I'm really happy for the money. I think they did a good job. So we're gonna leave this side alone. And while I'm thinking of it, FreeC has not contacted me and paid me to uh, do this review. This is 100% honest me. All right, this basket, don't need it. Sponges we are going to keep and use. But I'm gonna redo. Ooh, that's nasty. <laughs> but I am gonna redo the filter floss. But before I do that, I've been curious how much kind of blow by we get, if that makes sense, from where this sits on the divider here. I can't really tell. It 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 does feel. There's a little gap at the top. But it does sit on there pretty good. If we take the divider out and set it in there yeah i guess it seals pretty good let me see if i can get an angle on it for you you may or may not be able to see that there's a little tiny gap right down there so i'm gonna put a little piece of uh, weather stripping in there and that should really seal this all up 
because I don't want any blow by. I want maximum filtration. Here's our weather stripping. It's uh, fairly thin as far as the thickness goes and it's soft so it should just fill the gap in nicely. I've got my X-Acto here. I'm just going to trim a nice piece. Make sure that this is dry in this little gap right here. And take this guy and lay it right there. And then I'm going to take my X-Acto blade and start tracing the inside, I'm hoping, and cut it. Yeah, it works better to start in the middle. Work your way to the edge. Slicey, slicey. Hopefully I don't slicey my selfie. Just kind of cutting around the curve here. All right, let's see if we can jam it in there. This stuff's not really, really sticky, so you can kind of manipulate it around a little bit. I'm thinking that's going to work out nice. This may work, may not work. I don't know. We're experimenting. Now let's see if it'll still fit on here. Yeah, perfect. All right, so if I push that all the way down, do I have any gap that fits tight? And look, it helps me get the, the lid back off. Look, I solved two problems. Push this down. Hey. Now I don't have to pry this dang thing off all the time. All right, that tells me that we're getting a really good seal. Perfect. Now I've got my bag of filter floss here. Ooh, camera wiggling. All right, I've got my filter floss here. And I'm just going to tear off a big chunk. These sponges take up a little less than halfway of the canister. So we're gonna stuff filter floss in the bottom about halfway. I do still wanna leave a little kind of water chamber up here. So I don't want this, this sponge to be you know, right up here again, because we're going to run into that same problem with the inlet, remember? So we want, you know, the, the filter to be able to suck these sponges down and leave a little bit of a gap here. You'll see. I'm rambling now. now all I'm doing is I'm just going to shove this down in there. So it's tight. No method to it, just kind of balled it up, stuffed it in there. Sponge. Shake anything out we can get out. I don't want to disturb the bacteria. Everybody's concerned about the bacteria. Now I'm even going to leave the Purigen packet out for this test because I want to show you guys real results if this works. If it doesn't, you'll see that too. All right, drop a sponge in, drop the second sponge in. Okay. Yeah, that's maybe a little tighter than I want. I wanted a little more of a water chamber there. Let me see if I can smash this down anymore. Yeah, that should work better. There we go. See how I have a little bit of space in here? That's exactly what I want. Little water chamber so that water can flow around in here. And now it has to go through the two sponges and it has to go through the filter floss here before it can go under the gap, and then up through the baskets for the biomedia. We're gonna see if it works or if I have too much media in here for this little pump, it might not be able to suck water. Okay, we're gonna put our lid back on here. I like that. I, I like the mod that now the lid pops off by itself so I don't have to get my little pry tool every time. Final step, which I'm gonna do off camera, is I'm just gonna clean my little lily pipes here. Connect our pipes back up here. And you may notice I'm not using the spray bar anymore. I just want a nice circular flow. So I took the spray bar off, but you can use the spray bar if you want. All right, filter is primed full of water. Let's give it a, a plug in. Let's give it some juice. Let's see how the flow is. Flow is still pretty good. I don't know, there's no way for me to show you, but it's gentler because I've got a lot of filter floss stuffed in there, but it's still flowing. 
see if I can find anything floating around in here that you'll be able to see. Maybe you can see stuff floating around. See the plants back there wafting. So there's tank flow. Once you get some of the air out of that filter flow, so it might get a little more flow. All right, I'm in here with a flashlight. I'm gonna try and see if we can see anything. I can, but I don't think you can see it on the filter. Ah, there we go. You see that little tiny gap? I'll put an arrow. But where that little tiny gap is, we have water flow through the sponge. I can see the air. Maybe you can see it if I'd stop shaking. We'll be able to tell in these gaps of the filter floss here if we have anything building up. See if we made this filter better. I have just a little bit of algae on the glass here. I'm going to clean this front pane of glass and then if you want to keep watching, I got a special treat for you to see for real if this filter works. All right, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to dose this tank with Seachem Clarity. That's really going to clog the water up. Clog? Cloud. Cloud the water up. And then I'm going to put a battery pack on the GoPro here and scoot you guys a little bit closer. And I'm going to put this on a time lapse, which then I'll speed up in editing. And we're going to see if this filter mod that I did works and really if the filter works at all. I think it does, and I think we're going to be happy with the results. But if you want to keep watching, I'll put a little music on. Enjoy this time lapse. Let's see if this thing works. guys it's been about three hours I haven't edited the video yet so I don't know how well it looks on camera but we cleared up considerably and uh, we'll just wait till tomorrow morning it is a smaller filter you know and uh, we'll see what it looks like in the morning all right it's the next morning we've got a fresh tank I've got a fresh cut it's a good day so let's check it out here we are, ladies and gentlemen. It is much, much better. Now, is it 100% crystal clear like, you know, MD or MJ's tanks? No, it's not. But it'll get there. Uh, it'll clear up. Maybe you guys can see just how much brown this thing pulled out in one day in that filter floss there. See the little white spot down at the bottom? Gotta say I'm kind of impressed. Overall, I'm happy with the tank. I think that it looks pretty good for a $35 filter, you know? I mean, we're not running some uh, $400 canister filter on this little 10 gallon here. This is a cheap Amazon, uh, you know, overseas company filter. But I think it does its job. It does what it says it's supposed to do. It just needs a little tweaking and a little modding. All right, that's going to wrap up this update on the Free C Hang On Back Canister Filter. You know, I got to say, I do kind of like this filter. I think the price point's great. The seal is good on it. All the things I mentioned, right? I don't need to go back into it. But I'm going to buy two more of these things. That's to prove to you that I do kind of like them. Now, they need to be modded out a little bit and stuff, as we saw. But... Their size is much bigger and it holds a lot more media and you've got four individual baskets and stuff compared to a popular brand, which I'm not going to name, but uh, they make a little nano canister filter. It's, it's only about like this wide. It, it's, it's small. It works, but I think you can uh, you have more options with this one here. So I'm actually going to order two more. I wish I could use my affiliate link. But if you want one of these, you can use my Amazon affiliate link. I'll drop it in the description down here. And I do appreciate if you use that link. I make a couple of pennies and it doesn't cost you anything extra. And if you have any questions about it or you want to message me privately, you can do so on different platforms. You can reach me on email at ssaquascapes at gmail. You can reach me on Instagram, ssaquascapes. Or you can find me on Facebook, our pages, ssaquascapes. I like to keep it all pretty simple. Appreciate your guys' support there. Uh, if you want to see kind of some behind-the-scenes stuff, check out the Instagram. I do do little posts up there that I don't put on the channel here. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. I'll see you on the next update or the next build. I really got to start building tanks up higher.
This sitting on the floor thing to record videos is ridiculous.